Well, it's been about a day since I uh, made the video showing how I killed Windows 7. And so now I believe it's time to show you a video on how I fixed Windows 7. Um, thanks to um, the good help from Matthew H12, or is it Matthew H16? I, I, I forget. And Jay Wakefield, aka Video Sun Frontiers. Not only was I able to reinstall Windows 7 and reformat, now I already know how to do this, but where these two um, helpful men helped me with was I now have a UEFI install of Windows 7. It's kind of hard to explain how this works. I even don't even understand how it works myself, but um, let's go ahead and boot it up, shall we? Um, uh, turn the speaker up. By the way, I got my desktop running through my receiver, which is which puts out really good sound. There we go. <coughs> All right, just starting Windows. Now we got a cursor now. Very blurry and unfocused cursor. Uh, as you can see, um, despite reformatting, um, startup is for Windows is very is still very 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 slow. And that is all thanks to the slowness of my boot drive in here, which happens to be a 250 gigabyte Seagate drive that's only SATA 2. And it's only 5400 RPM, so not the fastest in the world, but when I built this, this was all I had. I couldn't afford anything better. And I'm also going to have to add a new... um file drive as well because the 500 gigabyte storage drive um, I have only has about oh uh, 80 gigabytes left on it which so I need to do something as soon as possible I'm looking into getting a new getting a um, two terabyte um, drive for the storage drive and for the boot drive I'm gonna get something I've always wanted a um, an SSD. I'm going to get one of those 128 gigabyte Samsung models that people seem to really like, but we're finally at the desktop. It's very slow, but um, it's a lot happier than it was last night, isn't it? <laughs> no blue screen of death. The, the registry is completely intact. Um, so yeah, it's it's a very happy camper tonight. But I do need to do something about my hard drive situation on here. Because one's too slow and the other one's too small. <laughs> Alright, I, I think the Intel Speed Step um, display thing is next to come up. Or no, no, actually Skype is coming up now. But yeah, um, it's... A lot happier than it was last night. I can tell you that. I this is the last time I will ever um, get rambunctious with the MS Config utility unless I'm disabling programs in the startup or something. But I usually only have to do that with Windows XP for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, we're finally um, all booted up. And everything is in perfect working order. Um, I've got most of my software reinstalled. I still have a few things that I need to put back on here. I had a little trouble getting um, Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder on here. I got a very bizarre error message, so I'll have to try reinstalling it tomorrow and see if it does any better. But yeah, everything is 
happy and accounted for. Um, even got one of my favorite programs, DOSBox, running. Even a even a brand new computer like this needs a keyboard like a Model M. I'm sorry, it's just my opinion. <laughs> Oh, no wonder there's no sound. I forgot to turn the speakers on. <laughs> but yeah, and in fact, right before I um, reinstalled Windows 7, since my computer was bricked anyway, um, I ran a very bizarre little but successful experiment on it earlier. What I did was um, I took a blank floppy, stuck it in here on the Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT, made a Windows 95 startup disk, put it in this USB floppy drive because this computer supports USB floppy boot, and I booted into um, MS DOS 7 on this um, Core i5 um, computer from 2013, and I was even able to play a little game of Sky Road's Christmas Special, albeit without sound, of course. So that was a very, very interesting little experiment. <laughs> but I reckon I'll go ahead and call this a video. I need to get to bed pretty soon. Just thought I'd let you know that everything is hunky-dory again on my main computer. So for now, this is Billy Core signing off on, se on September the 13th of 2013. Goodbye.